Hi, Nick. It's Regina. Um, this video is to sort of walk you through how to do the um, Google Docs. So you should be able to go to google.com and if you click under more, you will see documents. Now, I already have a Gmail account. Um, you should be able to sign in or at least access um, the document that I shared with you from the link in the email that I sent to you. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my um, password. I hope that's it. No, it's not. Okay, there we go. When you get into Google Docs, um, you won't see all of this. <laughs> But you will see this one, student evaluation. So you want to click on student evaluation. I'm going to maximize the window. <coughs> and as you can see, it's quite large, this spreadsheet. It's quite large. And you see here it says the window is too small to properly display this sheet. I'm going to minimize the screen. You can see it's quite large. So, um, this is the spreadsheet that the answers will come in. Now, let me go back to 100% and click the form. From here, <coughs> you can go to the live form, and this is what people actually see when. They open the link. So let's say I'm filling out a form. I'm just going to quickly fill this out so that you can see how the responses will come in. I should have done this before I started the video, but just roll with me here. It won't take too long. I'll vary some answers. And you can see if somebody wants to click something else, they can't choose more than one thing. So that's the convenience of having a sliding scale for answers. Okay. Almost done here. Just a few more. Say my teacher's name is Mr. Carter. Sports name is My name is Regina. Blah, blah, blah. Or blah. Okay? Alright, now, I'm going to submit. It immediately, and this is the response that says thanks, your response has been recorded. This is that area that I said if you wanted to put something else there, you could, you could do that. But it's, it's up to you, so you want to go like that, which is fine. Okay, now I'm going back to the form, and we have, you can see how many people have responded in the parentheses there. So that's going to be good for you. Now, this one, because it's such a large sheet. We're having to zoom out. Here are my responses. Regina, I have the name there, the teacher's name, course name, answer to number one, so on and so forth. I skipped one. Skipped more than one. I this one. <laughs> and that one. So, Another way to look at the information, Nick. Oh, I said Nick, I didn't say Mr. Carter. <laughs> okay. Going to 100%. Again, I can go to form and show summary of responses. Pop up in there, right? Popping up in front. Okay. So here's another way of looking at the information, which 
may work best for you. Um, you can see how many, they just kind of keep a survey of all the responses. Um, one person said, I am keeping up with the work. Okay, scroll down. all be listed just kind of in a block like they are now, that gray block that you see there. Okay. Let me close out of this window. Some other things that will be helpful is when you get ready to print. As you can see, you can either you can say the current sheet, all parts, all sheet collections, um, however you want to do it. Um, and you can choose the size because it's so long. I'd probably go for a legal size. And uh, grid lines are good, so don't click that. <laughs> and landscape is going to be good. Okay, so when you print, automatically create a PDF. So that's good as well. If you want to share the results with someone, you can easily email that PDF and they won't have to worry about formatting. So this is what the PDF would look like. And it would have a list of all of the responses. Okay, so that is another thing from here. You can either file, save as, um, or you can email it here, or you can print. So that's the benefit that local button creates a um, PDF. So some other features are. You can actually revise the answers. So if I literally wanted to go into a box, let me make this a little smaller, um, where I misspelled your name, Mr. Carter, I could actually change the response. I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing, since it's a survey, but <laughs> if you ever needed to go in and change the response, you do have that option. Um, and then you can see your revision history. I can go back to um, 550 before I change. And it will show what was changed. Course name. I made a change in course name. So I want to revert to this one. All right. Am I sure? Sure. Why not? Okay. And um, of course, you have your spread settings, which is not too important. Um, you can also copy and paste this information to another spreadsheet if you want to. Um, I'll link to you. We'll just have a list of all the responses in little drop down menus. <coughs> right now, because I deleted my uh, response, I went back to older versions. Then you want to my response. This, because this is such a large spreadsheet, you may actually want to just come in and look at it in the list view versus the spreadsheet view. Okay, if you want to go back to the spreadsheet view, you scroll to the top, click on go to spreadsheet view. Um, some other things that are going to be helpful. Um, Formulas, formatting, like I mentioned. Um, if for some reason you wanted to embed this form into a web page, like if we, if you wanted to put this online, um, like on the Heritage Hall website, you can just um, click on that, and there's the embed code. Um, Nicole will know how to put this in. I mean, you can literally embed this onto a web page, into an email. Um, however you want it to do it, into a blog, as it says here, or website. It's very, very easy to do. Just click and paste, and the coding makes the form all over again. And it's a very cool feature. Um, I think that's it. Tools. Yeah, none of the 
this should be the important item. So anyway, and if you have any help, here's help, and maybe something I can help you with, who knows. But um, anyway, there we are, and I am going to go back. You, oh, also, when someone makes a change like I just did, or if someone uh, inputs an answer, you will get an email. Like, if I check my email right now, I probably have an email saying that, hey, that spreadsheet has just been changed, which means someone has filled out a form and completed it. So you'll have real-time information with regards to um, when the sheet is being filled out, how many people have filled it out. So anyway, this is Google Docs. <laughs> I hope this video hasn't been too haphazard and hopefully it's been of some help. I think that's